thank you for returning to my channel if you're coming back and for those of you that are brand new welcome to my channel I really appreciate you being here I've already been meditating on your cards as I usually do and for those of you that are returning have been to me at Shea C Tarot before you can go ahead and fast forward this part if you like because I'm gonna tell all of the new folks here what's going on so that they're aware but for all of you I just joined Instago finally so you know take advantage of that uh, if you're interested in that that information is below in the description box okay for those of you that are brand new I burn sage for every single reading and I have the healing stones always surrounding your reading and this is to keep any negativity out of your reading okay and I find it works very well like everything so far I mean <laughs> knock on wood it, I mean things have come out so positively and a lot of my readings um, have been coming true the last few months so it's it's, it's ooh, it, that just gave me the shivers thinking about it but it's it's remarkable to me it never tarot never ceases to amaze me i've definitely been divinely guided here to do this for you and it's my passion my pleasure so i hope you enjoy it as much as i do take what resonates leave what doesn't but do me a favor it only takes you a second but it means the world to my girls and i to hit that thumbs up and the subscribe button it really does make a difference for the channel to help it to continue to grow okay so let's go ahead and get started and if you find this resonates for you if it feels like i'm talking about your life story then definitely take advantage there'll be an extended reading at the conclusion of this one it's other 15 plus or minus minutes depending and i'll pull other cards and i'll go through that throughout the reading as as we go on okay and i'll definitely be clarifying some cards i don't read reversals okay okay Leo, let's see what's going on, and I'm sorry I'm late with your reading. I have been really caught up. It's been spring break for my girls, so you know, you know how that goes. <laughs> All right, you have the judgment card, okay? So this is a major arcana signifying that something significant is occurring in your life, okay? Whenever there's major arcana, it means major events, okay? So the judgment card is about letting go of the past, about waking up the universe is trying to wake you up to a brand new beginning, to let go of the past and to bring in new things, okay? You may be single and abundant on your own, or you may own your own business and be financially secure on your own. Whatever it is, growth is happening just within yourself. You may have recently become single, or again, you own your own business and you're abundant and, and you, you flourish on your own, okay? And again, you have the sun card, major arcana. So that's two major arcanas already out of a four card spread, okay? This signifies this is like the card of the deck of the tarot deck this is full abundance in all things health wealth love everything okay everything growing everything um coming to fruition okay if you like but this is the most desired card of the whole deck you see how how much that sun is just shining there okay there's growth happening here so you may be growing a lot financially spiritually in love in business okay you may have decided to let go of the past if you haven't yet i feel that the universe is trying to wake you up and trying to get you to let go of that past and that once you do you'll become very abundant and flourish very much so in all things you know maybe you'll find love because here we've got the eight of cups and i feel like either you are walking away from something or someone that no longer serves you or someone else is doing this to you or a love interest of yours is walking away. So however this resonates for you, I could be picking up the energy of a loved one, okay, or of a love interest of yours as well. So this is either you walking away from something that no longer makes you happy, or someone else is walking away from you, or someone else that is a love interest of yours is walking away, okay? Quite often I tend to pick up the energy of the love interest rather than, um, you know the sign I'm reading for so however that resonates for you but never again force a reading to fit but this is about someone you know leaving the past behind because there's no more love here there's no more growth here okay and I'm feeling like once you walk away and I'm saying you again take it how it resonates for your situation I'm feeling like once someone walks away from a situation that this abundance and this growth and um, you know everything it starts to grow and become happy in all things okay this is definitely somebody letting go of the past and then abundance being allowed to come in and flourish we're going to do some clarification though now again when i go into the extended i'm going to pull some of the angel message cards which i'm going to pull one right now for you i have four of thought 
this one just pulled out for you. I was able to purchase these using the donations I got from from you, you those of you who donated. So thank you so much. That that really is truly appreciated. And it helps me to keep everything flowing here. I buy candles and the sage, of course, as well as the healing stones and cards. And the last time I bought these cards, so let me go ahead and read your card for you. It's called Four of Thought. Spend time in nature listening for guidance from your angels and your own inner voice because over analyzing situation won't provide the answers you're seeking. Consider taking a vacation or a small break to help you rejuvenate and become clear on what your next step should be. Meditation can be very helpful. Okay. So perhaps you've decided to walk away from a situation, go on a brand new path and journey. And, you know, spirit is basically saying meditation will be very helpful as your next step or taking a vacation in order to clear your mind and clear your soul. So these are the, the angel message cards I was telling you about. So we're going to pull some more of those in the next, uh, in your extended read. So let's go ahead and clarify this judgment card. Clarify the judge. Wow, that just, just wanted to jump out. Okay, so you may be dealing with an emperor. This is, you know, somebody who is in control. Okay, this is another major arcana. So you've, you've already got three major arcanas here. This is Aries, so you could be dealing with another fire sign, or it could be Taurus, somebody who takes order and control. You could be taking on the emperor energy, someone who likes to take charge of a situation, someone who's a fatherly type of figure. You know, if you own your own business, you might be the leader, the CEO. Um, it's somebody that likes to take control. This could be you taking control of your own life, walking away, being abundant on your own, or it could be somebody else your love interest that, that's doing this to you or doing it to somebody else to be with you, okay? So however, again, it resonates for your situation. But I feel like somebody is letting go of the past and waking up, um, perhaps gaining control of their life again. It could be you, okay? Walking away, abundance coming, taking time for yourself. Clarify the emperor, please, for Leo. Why is the emperor here? Why is the emperor here? And I will mention as well, even though I put a time stamp, like a date stamp rather, on this video, it doesn't matter whenever you're feeling these energies, that's when it's for you. Okay, so I don't want you to think that, oh, she's just doing it from this date to that date. It only applies. That's not true. Things can happen weeks from now. This may be happening right now. And some things could happen two weeks, three weeks, four months, six months down the road. Okay. You have the two of pentacles so perhaps you've been juggling a lot trying to multitask and and now you're trying to take back control of your life you're letting go of the past maybe before things were just too much for you you were just finding that you were having to multitask too much and it was becoming overwhelming that could be okay or again could be vice versa could be love and interest of yours clarify the nine of pentacles please for leo why is the nine of pentacles here clarify the nine of pentacles for leo Clarify the Nine of Pentacles for Leo. Can you clarify the Nine of Pentacles? Oh, wow. Okay. There you go. So, yeah, you may own your own business and there's collaboration and teamwork here. Or this could be that you're single and abundant on your own and, you know, you're wanting... Um, to come together with someone and have an equal give and take in, in a relationship. I'm not seeing that yet here, though. And then I have the Six of Wands. So this is about victory. This is becoming victorious in something that you've been hoping for or waiting for or working hard towards. Again, it could be your own business. Like I said, the Nine of Pentacles, this could be your own business, collaboration, working with a team or a group of people. You may be high up there and you know you may be victorious in situation you may have walked away from something that was loveless before again vice versa and you may be becoming abundant on your own owning your own business taking control back and juggling a lot of different things you could be juggling a relationship and business right now okay deciding to let go of something that wasn't making you happy and concentrating on business if or a career of some you know maybe your career or you know maybe you've been um, promoted and whatever the case may be you are definitely becoming very abundant and self-sufficient and if you weren't already or you're just concentrating on work you're focusing on work letting go of the past you know, you're walking away from somebody or something that no longer made you happy. And again, this could be vice versa. 
look these just wanted to jump out for you let's go ahead and take that and then we're going to go to the extended okay yeah you may be you know turning away love right now or else maybe any love offers that are coming in right now you're just you're not interested you've got your arms and your legs folded you're concentrating on business on work on the future you know your stability perhaps that could be your abundance okay or this could be your love interest refusing if you're making a love offer or you know um to somebody right now maybe they've just walked away from a situation or you're thinking about walking away from a situation so they're just not ready to accept new love right now the universe is trying to hand them that could be this could be focusing on what was rather than what could be okay and it could be you and it could be your love interest these just jumped out all on their own yeah you may have your head right down to that grindstone. Here's the Eight of Pentacles. This is working very hard on your craft. I feel like you might be working very hard on your business and throwing yourself into your work. Okay, and um, that's how I'm feeling about that. So now, sometimes this means you could be working hard in a relationship, but I'm not feeling that way right now. Okay, I'm not feeling that. I'm feeling like this is more about putting a lot of effort and throwing oneself into their work um, into their abundance financially rather than emotionally at the moment because I, I definitely see here that somebody is walking away from something that didn't make them happy anymore and they're refusing they're refusing any kind of offers right now they're just not ready you know they're too focused on the past and and you know spirit is here saying let go of the, the past we're trying to wake you up so whether that's you or your love interest okay King of Wands. This could be you, Leo. Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. This is someone who's very fiery, very feisty, and very confident, okay? This could be you feeling very passionate about your work, about passionate about the future, okay? That's how I'm feeling about the King of Wands. So far, I see Leo. I see you right here. I see Sagittarius and Aries. I see um, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and I see, I see everybody except for air. I don't see air here. Oh, yes, I do. Right here. So, yeah, we have air, fire, earth, and water here. Okay. Could be anybody. But let's go ahead. I'm going to just quickly pull you one of the uh, enchanted tarot. I've had these for 25 years, and they really jump out for me. I'll be pulling those in the extended as well, of course, as the romance angels. And I've ordered some new beautiful cards. Now, this one just came out for you right now. It says express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture so maybe there is somebody that you're passionate about and you're feeling confident about maybe it's your love interest walking away from a previous situation and not accepting your love right now but perhaps spirits here saying you know express your love anyway let them know let them know how you feel that could definitely be maybe that somebody else refusing your cup and you're trying to offer it maybe spirit saying that you know you will be victorious if you try Okay, that could be. But let's go into the extended. We're going to dig a lot deeper. I'm going to pull that enchanted tarot. Now, these again, I've had for 25 years. Let's see which one I pull. Wow. Okay, well, you have the Ace of Pentacles. So this is a brand new beginning. Okay, this is a brand new beginning. You know, it could be in stability. Again, Pentacles are to do with money, coins. Okay, stability. Um, you may have a brand new stable beginning. You could be, again, working very hard, throwing yourself into your work. And, you know, maybe waiting for somebody uh, or vice versa. But this could be a brand new uh, job, a new promotion, a new source of income. You know, it could be, um, again, a brand new business you're considering starting up or you're already collaborating on with a group of people. But this is beautiful. It's a brand new beginning. And maybe it's you having to let go of the past. Maybe it's you and a love interest letting go of the past. But either way, the sun is here, and that, that is beautiful. Okay, let's go to that extended. If this resonates for you, fantastic. Go ahead and click on that. That's down below in the description box. I'll also pin it down in the comments, and we'll dig a lot deeper. I'm going to pull some oracle cards, see if, you know, the angels have anything to guide you on your journey spiritually, if they have any guidance messages that might help you. And... Um, I will see you over there. Thank you so much, Leo. I appreciate you being here very much, and I'll see you in another week. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up. It really does make a difference. Thank you so very much. Bye for now. See you at the extended. Bye.